This problem says 20% of 50 equals a number. So this is our percent of is the whole amount, and we're finding the part in this case. I'm going to show you how to use a tape diagram to, so to solve this percent of a number problem. In a tape diagram, basically it kind of looks like a fraction bar. So I always draw just a rectangle and I separate it into 10 equal parts. And I do 10 equal parts because I have 20% here. If this is 25%, I could do it into four equal parts, or I can do whatever kind of equal parts I have to make to get to 100. So here's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So let's just double check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Each piece is worth 10%. So this is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. And a tape diagram is nice because it really is just looking at the equal parts. So this says 20% of a number is 50. So if we had $50 in our savings account and you get 20% of it, how much do you get? So we know the whole amount is 50. So the whole entire tape diagram is worth 50. Since it's separated into 10 equal parts, we take 50 and divide by 10. Because it's 10 equal parts. So each piece is worth 5. Okay, so each piece is worth 5, but I only want 20% of it. So I look here at 20%. Well, how much does 20% make? 5 plus 5, which would equal 10. We're going to use our tape diagram to again to solve what percent of 50 is 30. So this is our percent, and I like to have the students identify the parts because it's important when they're trying to figure out what they're looking for. What percent of 50, so this is our whole, of is always to the whole, is 30, which is the part. So in this case, you had $50 in your savings account. You got 30 of it. What percentage of your savings account did you take out? So I'm going to go ahead and draw my tape diagram again, which is just a long rectangle separated into 10 equal pieces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Whoops, one too many, so we'll cross off that one. All right, so we have 10 equal pieces. Again, each piece is worth 10%. So this is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 90 and 100%. In this problem, I do have the whole amount. I have everything that's in my savings account. So the total tape diagram is worth 50. So again, I would divide it into 10 equal pieces, which would make five per piece. Since I want to find the top numbers, which are the percents, if I label here, this is the percents and our dollars are on the bottom, I would have to add together the pieces in order to see how much I could make, when I could make 30. So 5 plus 5 is 10, plus 5 is 15, plus 5 is 20, plus 5 is 25, plus 5 is 30. So at this point, I have my $30, which is 60%. I'm going to use my double number line, um, excuse me, my tape diagram again to solve this percent problem. We have our percent this time of our whole amount is missing is 40, which is our part. So again, I make my tape diagram into 10 equal parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Each piece is worth ten percent. So this is ten percent, twenty percent, thirty percent, forty percent, fifty percent, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, and a hundred percent. What I know now is twenty percent, so this piece right here is forty. So if twenty percent is forty, then ten percent has to be twenty. So each piece is worth 20. So I go ahead and label that each piece is worth 20 because I'm trying to find the whole tape diagram, so the whole amount. So since I have 20 pieces times 10, my whole amount is $200 in my account. 
The tape diagram is a very useful tool. However, when you're looking for the halfway points, you do have to split things in half. It does not work very well when you have like 24% or 36%. They have to use a lot of number sense there to try and figure that out. So I really would hesitate to use this all the time, but it is a nice tool. It's a nice visual tool for the students.